Good evening, everyone, along with Eddie Olchek, Mike Emmerich, Pacific Division action tonight. And I have a question. You played in Los Angeles. Do you think the players out here are unappreciated because back in the East they're in bed by the time their games start? Uh, I do, Doc, and I would give some advice to the people in the Eastern time zone. Just take a nap. <laughs> Get some rest so you're able to watch some great brand of hockey out in the Pacific Division. Red Deers always looking to put on a show, whoever might be watching. Okay, so let's look at the starting goaltenders for the game. Carey Price gets the call in goal, still in his 20s and racking up credentials. Olympic gold, NHL All-Rookie team, winning his goalie in the NHL and led his team in Hamilton to the American Hockey League Championship. Neuvert in the goal crease tonight. He is always acrobatic. We can expect more of that tonight for the Canucks. We have a thrilling evening of hockey ahead. The Rebels get possession and we are underway. Red Deers, hard work in their last game paid off as they added another plus to the win column. Stick to the plan tonight and you will be rewarded. Shoot, that hits somebody. The Canucks carrying it in their own end. Offside stops the clock. Everything stops except the opinion of this man, Ray Ferraro. There's not very many games you can put in the win column if your special teams aren't very good. You have to at least be able to play even most nights with the other team on the power play and penalty kill if you expect to win. Thanks very much, Ray. And on the icing, play is stopped, and all the way back it will come for a faceoff. Good reach there. The Canucks continue to probe. Big collision there. Good thing the boards are there. Pass cut. Skill play by Seidenberg. Propelled to Simmons. The Rebels starting back in their own end. Charles' hit might be it. That's a really solid physical play, and his team looks to catch a spark from it. The Canucks win the draw. And rip to strike. Broken stick, rotten luck. Pitching this one to Yager. From the outside, blocked. Pitching it to Nordstrom. Vancouver's continuing on up the wing. One timer. Oh, a wonderful save. What a skill level there. Terrific stop from right in front of the net, but you've got to find a way to put the puck in the net. Moved along and in. Vancouver's controlling the play in their own end. Chip to that suit. Great job on a cut pass. Gathered in by Strike. Pointed to Yakupov. A terrific shot, but it's answered by the pass. Gets play stopped. Carey Price has owned one of hockey's most pressured jobs, goaltender for the Montreal Canadiens. Great size for Carey Price, six foot three, 210 pounds. You talk about a pressure job, maybe as tough a job in the National Hockey League to be the starting goaltender for the Canadiens. One into another. That was a major league collision. Gets across, looks over his options. Decides he wants the corner. Pass off the woodwork to Henrik Sedin. Directing that one to Verbata. Great stick work prevents the pass from being complete. On the outside, a shot. He got his glove on that one. Orpix looking to make a play from his own end towards center. And angled to Verbata. Oh, what a move. Kicked out of the scrum. Oh, it's very important if he can get that out. Trying to go to Shaw. Gains the zone and looks over his options. He scores!
Henrik Sedin's body position was key to be able to snap this one home. His technique is good. The butterfly is really solid. He just gets beaten with a better shot here. So he played a while in this period, and finally a goal. I was hoping, Doc, that we were going to get that first one. Vancouver's got another face-off win. By number 37, Henrik Sedin. On to Simmons. Great bluff save, but it's loose. And he'll hold on. Five seconds. I don't know how the shooter can do much more than that. The goaltender made an excellent save on a great bid for goal. Over five minutes to go, first period. Only one goal hanging on the board so far. So it's one nothing. Outstanding save by Price. After that outstanding stop, that's got to give his team a big lift. Red Deer's getting to the neutral zone. Puck is thrown to Dome. Laid on to Beauchemin. The Canucks have it between the blue lines. Great take. Dangerous area. Wide of the net. Vancouver is controlling play along the boards. Pushing it on through center. Solid work defensively by Daniel Sedin. Ahead on that left wing to Bennett. Could not be filtered through a strong play by Seidenberg. Now it's directed to Beauchemin. Scorches one. Gathered up by Seidenberg. Pass attempt to Daniel Sedin. Let's it go. He beat everything but the post. And that's one period. Still two more to go. The Rebels are the only team to score, and they did it once. Are you ready for your walk down memory lane? Then join us for our fantasy game. Our game is in the middle period, and it's underway right now. Elevator to Chara. Cursed by a broken stick. And he takes it through center ice. He's got this one, and they're after him. Brilliant save by Price. The shooter thought he'd made a pretty good shot here, but the goaltender's in good shape. He makes the stop, and he's able to deny the shooter on what he thought was an excellent chance. Solid, clean win. Looking to Yonker. And he gains the zone. Pass cut. Vancouver's on the move up the wing. Slides it to the point to Niskanen. Great job on a cut pass. Gets in, looks over his options here. What a terrific save. Able to attack now. Vancouver's setting things up in their own end. Let's it go. Blockered away. Picked up by Bennett. Grabbed by Markov. The Rebels have it up the wing. He gains the zone. Shot. Stared him down and made the save. Uh, with this puck being so close to that, this is all a reactionary save. Puck is seized by Hutton. Back near the blue line to strike. Let's it go. They score! And they've tied the game up. This is one shot I wish more young hockey players would use. Everybody wants to take the big slapper. It's not how hard you shoot it, it's how quick it comes off your stick. And that was quick. The goalie thinks he's got the bottom half of the net covered. Obviously, he doesn't as this goes by him on the low stick side. Assisted by number 42 and by number 32. Vancouver setting things up in their own end. Moving into Daksu. Little pass that can start some progress ahead. Oh, broke it up. 
Passing one off now to Larson. Gets in. What will he do? The Rebels want to generate something up the wing. Drives to the net. He scores! You want to score goals, you've got to get to this area of the ice. It looks to me sometimes as the goaltender's guessing a bit, and when he guesses, he drops into the default butterfly position to see if he can cover enough net. Red Deer's broken the tie and gotten back ahead, and we're still in the second period. Should be fun just to get to the end of this one. The Rebels with a center ice faceoff win. Pitching this one to Clefbaum. Pitching it to Shaw. He's in! Huge stop by Price. Price is really sharp on this play. This is a good shot, an excellently placed puck, but he's able to make the stop. Vancouver is quick on the draw. Takes a shot. Directing that one to Verbata. Onside. And he is reefed. Right. Hung right over him and couldn't get it past. You want to score goals, you have to go to this area. The Canucks are out of their own end. What a hit. He was looking to knock him into the third row. Trying to go to Seidenberg. To Shaw. Backhander to the net. Flexed out that pad and got it. Thrown to Larson. The refs caught something. A delayed call here. Red Deer's minor is for charging. Too many strides taken, Doc, while making contact. And so begins power play number one. Let's see if it's power play goal number one. Big face-off win. Didn't miss by much. Great idea, but he just missed the net. Geometrically to strike. Great save in close. A quick developing play right in front. Almost looks like he's too close to the goaltender. Van carried from the defensive zone. Got a piece of that one. We go down to the benches. Here's Ray. The Rebels have been up on their toes all night. They've been the more aggressive team, and as a result, they've controlled play. Thanks, Ray. Professional hockey is not a game for the faint of heart. One team has certainly had the hits advantage tonight. A little under four minutes to go in the second period. We had a tie game until just moments ago. It's a one-goal contest. Plays a little catch here. That's the way to make them pay. Oh, well, that's going to make them think twice about going to that area. Now it's directed to Henrik Sedin. Into the end of attack. The pass is off the mark. What a chance that would have been. And that's icing. You can't run around looking for big hits like this. These come right into your lap. Prevailing on the faceoff. Up the wing and still with it. Superb defensive play by Chara. The Rebels in their own end setting things up. Nicely into the zone. Vancouver's power play fails this time. And so they are still down by one. A hammer shot from the point. Pass attempt to Tutin. Gets in. What will he do? Big chance here. Score! Two in a row. Tootin's foot's been created that breakaway chance, and he scored. Neuver's not going to like this one, beating low on the stick side.
Red Deer's got a two-goal lead. Good time to have it. Late in the second period. What will they do next? What will be their mode of attack? Looking to Markov. Snapping a pass to Young. Looking from the corner. The Canucks control the play in the defensive zone. Moving it to strike. Shaw's tripped and a penalty should be coming. Good solid defensive play there. The Rebels suffer a tripping call. Oh, this is clearly a tripping call. He made no attempt to play the puck and took the legs out from the attacking player. Good job on the draw. Passing one off now to Henrik Sedin. 40 minutes have been played in this contest, and everyone gets a break, but just for a moment. Third period coming up. Hey, fans, now is the time to pick up your team calendars. You can pick them up at Kiosk 144 on the lower level. Tootin's goal came late in that period, and it may be a backbreaker. Time will tell as we head to break. Third period about to begin. The rear view mirror will help us with the first two, and so will Edson. The Canucks are down as we get ready to start the third period. From my vantage point, Doc, they're lucky to still be in this game. They've turned the puck over way too many times. The breakaway. Oh, that's a great save by Neuver. Gains the zone. Flings it. Great stick save. Collected by McDonough. Pitching this one to Simmons. In the slot. That's a great save. I was watching for sticks to go up. No celebration this time. Bryce has had a really easy night. There's not been many shots, not much traffic, and his team's put some goals on the board. I don't know how the shoot eats. The Rebels with possession in the defensive zone. Gets in, and he'll look over his options. Pitching it to Simmons. Directing that one to Yakupov. The Rebels lug that along in their own. What force in that one? I think the glass is still rattling after that big hit. Gets that pass from his goalie through traffic. Propelled to Bennett. Terrific save with no reaction time whatsoever. You don't get many better opportunities than that. Great save. Trying to go to Yakupov. And a bomb to Simmons. A shot. Oh, and it's off the mark. You have to give yourself a chance. Piece of it. Rebound. One control. Through the corner. Collect it now. The Rebels look to make a difference up the wing. Let's it go. The offense was strong, but the pad had the answer. Solid work there by Orpik. Oh, how can they miss that pass? Pressing on through center ice. A terrific job on the cut pass. Nicely done with the interception. Jabbed away by Tootin. Chip to strike. It's an onside play. It all alone. Superb save by Price. The shooter thought he'd made a pretty good shot here, but the goaltender's in good shape. He makes the stop, and he's able to deny the shooter on what he thought was an excellent chance. A little under six minutes off the clock in the third. It's a 3-1 game. And the loose puck taken by McDonough. Oh, did he ever get mashed? Taken away. McDonough's got it in his own end, headed toward center. Press to the glass. Skate kick out of the scrum. Into the attacking end. Vancouver's in their own end, continuing on. Pointed to Niskanen. Scrum over, puck kicked. Shoots! Terrific save there. Didn't look like he had anything to shoot at, and he made it tough. You want to score goals, you have to go to this area. You got to find a way to put it in the net. And play stop because of an offside. Routine stop for the goaltender. The shooter's going to have to do a much better job challenging him. Red 
Deer's got another face-off win. A good stick there, so no complete pass. And in flight over the line. Shot on. Snapped out of the air. Shot down the ice, and it's an icing. I think it's time we hear from Ray Ferraro. Price is almost able to exhale. He's been outstanding throughout. His team has now stretched the game out offensively. He has been impossible to miss out there, Ray. He has been outstanding. You are right. Nice face-off work. The Rebels up the wing, lug the puck. Did that suit. Taken toward the neutral zone. Puck is thrown to Weirkoch. And he steps across the line. He's got it in deep. Shoots with no time whatsoever. He turned it aside. Not a lot of room to score from in that area. Great save. Good jab with the stick there. Gathered in by Rick Nash. Oh, great save there. Not much room to work, but he got a good shot away. Has it picked up. Now it's directed to Goche. Let's it go. What a save. I was looking for the light to come on. This is an excellent stop by the goaltender on the blocker side. The shooter takes a look, sizes the best place to shoot it, and tries to go on the stick side, but he's denied. They win the draw. Now can they get it out? Pass attempt to Verbata. Gains the blue line. Big chance! What a save by Price! And snapped up by Jason Spezza. The Rebels wheel it up the wing. Smart recovery by Hutton. Play is stopped. There is a signal. We just wanted to see who it is he's taking off. The Rebels are boxed on a tripping minor. Well, in desperation mode, all he was trying to do was sweep the puck away, but unfortunately caught the player's skates. This has been a power play that's gotten a lot of times, but no goals. Maybe that'll change with this one. They won it. Now what can they do? Fires! Oh, what a break. That shot hit somebody. Gathered up again by Hutton. On to Simmons. Laid on to Yakupov. And possession snapped up by Hutton. Tip to the net. No! If you have any chance in this game, you've got to put that one in. Passed across point to point. Oh, and the pass wouldn't go. What pressure by the power play. Looks for room. Offside is called. Somebody got over anxious there. The Canucks find themselves with a favorable schedule. Their next game will be the first of a homestand. The draw, the tie-up, and his team prevails. Looking to Larson. He's in on an onside play. Hey! Breakaway chance! A long game, and the clock bleeds down to the final minute of regulation. Snapping a pass to Datsu. In the third period. Rounded again. Moves to the corner. Terrific determination by McDonough. Vancouver has got possession along the boards. Tripped up on the play, and there will be a penalty. Penalty call coming. Watch for his signal here. Red Deer's given a minor here for tripping. Now, this is a tough call. He was trying to play the puck, but he tripped up the attacking player. The goalie has left. A skater is on. An extra one to try to get a key goal near the end. That hit somebody. Dogged determination there by Orpik. Moving it now up the wing. Got it in his own end. Slid to Simmons. Fires. Terrific glove save, but it's loose. 
And let's hear again from Ray. The Canucks haven't helped themselves at all. They've had a lot of chances. No puck luck, but you've got to get the puck on the net when you're in the scoring zone. What do they say, Ray? Without bad luck, they'd have no luck at all in this one. Does not get any more dramatic than this. Four feet by six. Yawning open at one end, hoping for an advantage at the other. This takes a lot out of him. Right in front. The Rebels are skating it back in their own end. And this play is whistled down. It is offside. Strong play on that faceoff. You have to be strong to hold that other guy off. Nice down out of the air. Let's go, Rister. The horn sounds. The game is over. Vancouver's got the loss in this one. Seemed like they might have enough to win. At least when it came to generating offense. Plenty of shots on goal, but not high quality. And again, we thank you for watching. We hope you enjoyed the evening as much as we did. For Eddie Olchek and Ray Ferraro, Mike Emmerich saying good night. the guys in teal the distinctive color that only one NHL team wears it's tonight's home team the San Jose Sharks hello everyone along with Eddie Olchek Ray Ferraro is coming up in just a moment I'm Mike Emery we get to see a team that's on a good roll right now and inside that locker room a good roll translates how you continue to do the same things that you've done to give yourself an opportunity, Doc. You drive to the rink the same way. You get dressed the same way. You go out on the ice the same way. You don't want to change anything when you're in the middle of a winning streak. The Sharks are looking to continue this winning streak without trying to change a whole heck of a lot. I expect them to play the same way they've done in the last couple of games. And if they do that, this winning streak will continue. Now we turn to the last lines of defense, the goalies. In goal is Craig Anderson, Illinois-born, once played for the Chicago Jets, the Chicago Freeze, and the Chicago Blackhawks has traveled much farther from home since, and successfully so. Carey Price from the village of Anaheim Lake, British Columbia. A recent census says 319 people lived there. The gold medal stand out for Canada at the 2014 Olympics. A former forward in roller hockey, but the goalie of record tonight. And so we begin. San Jose's coming into this one now on a roll, having strung together a few wins. Focus and execution is the key to success. Gains the blue line. And the possession taken by Daniel Sedin. San Jose's carrying on up the wing. It's a good pickup. Moving it to Daniel Sedin. And he steps in. 
Brings a shot. Wonderful stop. You talk about cutting down the angle. Perfectly executed by the goaltender. Hamilton's got it in his own end, headed towards center. Pass attempt to Nyquist. With play stopped, it's Ray Ferraro time. Doc, there's been some changes over the last 10 years that maybe go under the radar, but have really changed the way the game's been played. Shifts used to be a minute long. Now 30 to 40 seconds is absolute max because the game is played at such high end. That's what another save. Moving along in the defensive zone. Puck collected by Zetterberg. No completion on that pass, thanks to the defender. Chip down. Shot. Oh, I want to say. What control. Looking for options. No room for a pass. Gathered up again by Seidenberg. Throws it to Yager. Shooting. Goal! could see and feel the defensive players were just running out of gas. They were running around their own zone. You got to tip your helmet to the offensive players for that shift. They really had it coming. Edzo, good airtime on this pass. Flat when it lands and the shooter has a walk-in. Red Deer's lead is now one. Lots of time remaining in this first period and in the rest of the game, of course, to try to build on. Pitching it to MacArthur. The breakaway. No! Got to get it on net. Not very often you get a golden opportunity like that, but you gotta hit the net. Price is able to keep his upper body straight as he makes the butterfly save on a pretty easy stop. Just over seven minutes have gone off the clock. Red Deer's got the lead, 1-0. The Rebels with a clean win on the draw. Passing one off now to Hoodler. He gains the zone. Shoot off the goal post. Propelled to that suit. And snap to Ornpick. Terrific interception. Looking to MacArthur. Terrific open ice hit. The defense can rest. Blocked. Wisniewski's hooked on this play, and the arm of the referee is high. The Sharks guilty of a minor penalty for using the stick play to just a hook. Well, what he was trying to do is trying to get the puck, but unfortunately for him, he reached in and hooked around the player. Off to the San penalty Jose box he goes. San Jose has got a defensive zone win. For Hookie, time of the penalty, 9 minutes, 46 seconds. The Sharks with a face-off win. And that one sent back out to center. And possession snapped up by Markov. Pitching this one to Yonker. Gets in. What'll he do? Back near the blue line to Markov. And down to Daniel Sedin. To Wisniewski. Shoots! Didn't have time, but he saved it anyway. You want to score goals, you have to go to this area. You got to find a way to put it in the net. Big face-off win. And the puck now possessed by Chimera. Just missed the net. In this situation, you have to hit the net. Sometimes it's best just to fire it right at the goaltender. They score! A power play goal, and it's a biggie. The goaltender had no chance stopping that puck with the quick release. Anderson's done all he can here. The net is empty. He makes a heroic dive to get back to the play, but it slid into the net. Over nine minutes to be played. Just recently, another goal, and so the lead is two. Red Deer's prevailed again on the faceoff in the neutral zone. Sharks carrying it on in neutral ice. On to Chara. Nicely into the zone. 
Great job on a cut pass. Laid on to Rask. Poke checked away by Chara. Chip to Erickson. Slid to Dome. Good quick stick. Rask stripped and a penalty should be coming. San Jose is taking advantage of the delayed call. The goalie is off. That shot came from nowhere. Not often you're all alone in front of the goaltender from this area of the ice. Great save. Chara's going to the box. It's a tripping minor. Oh, this is clearly a tripping call. He made no attempt to play the puck and took the legs out from the attacking player. And so begins power play number one. Let's see if it's power play goal number one. The Rebels with a clean win on the draw. Puck is thrown to Spetsa. Up the wing and still with it. Written into the turnbuckle. Oh, I hope he's a big wrestler. No time to react. Didn't need it. Save. Anderson's able to scramble back into position to make an excellent stop here. Red Deer's got that win. Big hit. Possession gone. Snapping a pass to Nyquist. He's in on an onside play. Pass cut. Strong play. Big drive. Save. Boy, he really had to battle through to see that screenshot. And the loose puck gathered in by Henrik Sedin. Skilled play by Jason Spezza. Spezza's hooked on the play. There will be a penalty. San Jose's roster goes down by one here. At least briefly, a minor penalty for hooking. Uh, more times than not, Doc, anytime you reach in around a player's hands that has the puck, you're going to get a hooking minor. A lot more ice out there, Doc. Four on four. Tie-up and help from the winger. Trying to go to Ovechkin. Oh, and he is drilled. To Boschman. Directing that one to Zetterberg. Moving it to Boschman. And play stop because of an offside. Boschman's eyes were as big as saucers. He sees the opponent with his head down and he steps up for a huge hit. The Rebels control at center ice. Pointed to Hoodler. Off a body. Looking for a better lane. Puck is grabbed by Seidenberg. And angled to Zetterberg. Brings a shot. Great point blank save. The goalie makes himself look big. Goes right for the goal crease. Zetterberg slashed. Ooh, that's going to be a penalty. The Rebels kill it off. Punched away. The Rebels get their goalie to the bench for the extra man. And play is stopped for a penalty. Parentos getting a penalty for slashing. It's two minutes. Oh, that's a blatant slash, Doc. Anytime that you slide your bottom hand up your stick and swing your stick, you're going to the box. It's a five on three, it's a power play, and it's a chance to do some damage. San Jose penalty to number 25. Strong play on that faceoff. You have to be strong to hold that other guy off. 47 seconds. Slides it to the point to Chara. Score! It's another power play goal. Chara's technique on this shot was perfect. That's why it was so hard. Absolutely a great shot, Enzo, but the goaltender dropped down just a bit quick, left the top of the net exposed. Just past three minutes remaining here in the first period. Red Deer's offense continues to hum. Their advantage is three. And now it's directed to Young. Thrown in. Gathered up again by Jason Spetson. Pass attempt to Boschman. With possession up the boards. Skill play by Dillon. Routine play done well. Into the end of attack. Oh, deflected away. 
pass cut by the offense. Big chance here. Outstanding save by Price. I don't know how the shooter can do much more than that. The goaltender made an excellent save on a great bid for goal. San Jose has got another win. Hammered. Oh, what a break. That shot hit somebody. Propel to Smith. Pitching it to Wisniewski. The Rebels carry through center. Gets that one on a cross. Gathered in by Henrik Sedin. Set on further, they'll have to return. And possession once again by Markov. Onside. Shoots one. Got a piece of it. The Sharks have killed it all. Last minute of play. Good hand to eye. And the reach of the stick. Great save, point blank. Not a lot of room to score from in that area. Great save. Passing one off now to Zetterberg. On to Henrik Sedin. First period has come to a close. There was offense, but only on one side. Don't forget to check out our top ten moments in hockey history. You can find it on our website, voted on by you, our fans. The Sharks are suffering on the goaltender. For him, there are great days, there are average days, and then there's today. More in a moment. to enter the second period here. What did you think of the opening period of our game? The Rebels deserve to be up comfortably like they are after the way they really dominated in the offensive zone. Second period has begun. They started even, but one team's in a hole. Possession taken by Daniel Sedin. Laid on the Yager. A shot. Outstanding save. Difficult opportunity. Terrific stop from right in front of the net, but you've got to find a way to put the puck in the net. The shooter thought he'd made a pretty good shot here, but the goaltender's in good shape. He makes the stop, and he's able to deny the shooter on what he thought was an excellent chance. A good tie-up on the faceoff. That led to his team getting the puck. Chip to Chara. Looking to Daniel Sedin. Pitching this one to Yonker. Pass cut. Ovechkin's carrying it through center. Shoots one. Wow, what a glove save. Well, the hands are quicker than a glove. Great save. Well, that's a scoring chance gone for naught. That's an excellent save by the goaltender. A little over three minutes have transpired. The Rebels have all three goals. San Jose's got it. Outstanding save. Just got his glove on it. Nicely into the zone. Back near the blue line to Nash. Gaining space may be time. A shot with no time whatsoever. He turned it aside. A missed opportunity from this close in. Great recognition in the offensive zone. Faces up to the point. Feeds it in front. Hammers one. Score. That's four straight. That puck looked like it got deflected right in front of the goaltender. I'm sure Ray had a much better look at that. It did get deflected, Eddie, and when we get a look at it on the replay right here, you're going to see the goalie's in position, but because the puck is deflected the way it was, 
it gets past them in a way he just can't react to. The Rebels have added to their lead. They are heavily out shooting the opposition. And we look at the opposition bench and do not see a white flag yet. Moved along and in. Let's it go. That shot came from just six inches. Uh, with this puck being so close to that, this is all big sweeping save. And he freezes for the whistle. Price takes a difficult scoring chance, makes it look easy as he makes the stop. San Jose's got it again. Ooh, stick save. Snapping a pass to Chimera. Muscled long to Wingles. Gets in, looks over his options here. Picks it up back there. Trying to go to Chimera. Directing that one to Smith. Whoa, what a play! Loose buck taken by Markov. Moving into Spezza. Up the wing, moving ahead. Slid to Henrik Sedin. Outstanding point-blank save. Seems like he was in too tight on the goaltender. The Sharks have control of the puck through the neutral zone. Good work with the stick by Daniel Sedin. Propelled to Galchenyuk. Dogged determination there by Alexander Ovechkin. The Rebels are moving the puck in their own end. Fires! He scores! Alexander Ovechkin! You want to score goals, you've got to get to this area of the ice. Price plays the percentages, drops to the butterfly, but there's still room for the puck to beat him. Sharks have lighted the lamp here. That's a big thing for them. They're trailing in this game by a large score, but we're only in the second period. San Jose's collected another victory on the faceoff. Shot on. Now it's directed to Zetterberg. Back on his stick. Continues on back a little further. On to Chara. That one fired down. The defense will win the race, and icing is called. A little under five minutes still to play in this period. Is this the worst lead in hockey? Three goals? They can't find the target. You have to give yourself a chance here. You cannot blow this puck past the net. Got it right back. Puck corralled by Parento. Laid on to Chara. Gains the zone. Big chance! Wonderful stop by Anderson. Pass attempt to Parento. He was outnumbered, but not outskilled. To Parento. Pass cut. Nash is carrying it back in his own end, hoping for neutral ice. He's got a chance! Score! He's got his second! get this close to the goaltender to puck on your stick you got to snap it quick i think he believes he's got the whole net covered eddie but he's left open the low stick side beaten pretty cleanly the rebels have built a tremendous lead here in the second period not a lot of time left but an entire third ahead perhaps they can enlarge it even more scored by number hudler has got that puck again he's got two already by number 40 Took it in the corner and took a look, too. Fantastic shutdown. He's in. Score! Late in the period. Couldn't get much later for that one. Clutterbuck's quick read of the play allowed him to get that breakaway and score. Price dropped into the butterfly pretty quickly here, Edzo. He's got to stay on his feet a little longer, be more patient to cover more of the net. The Sharks haven't struck for much, but they've struck now. 
And maybe they can build on that here in the second. Red Deer's got that neutral zone faceoff. Broke it up well with the poke check. And that is the end of the second period of this game. One more to go, and who knows, maybe more action beyond that. Hey fans, be sure to get your season tickets now at this year's playoff locations and prices. Tracking the regular season ticket price for rounds one through three, that offer is available now. Don't miss your opportunity to pick up the best location. Third period about to begin. What did you think of the second? Red Deers up, Doc, here with a pretty solid lead, but they know that their opponent's going to come after them. So let's see how they play it. Will they be defensive first or look to add to the lead that they have? Great job on a cut pass. It's an onside play. Gives it on a cross from the point. Back near the blue line to Chara. Has it in his own end. Pitching it to Ovechkin. Passing one off now to Zetterberg. And at an angle. Wow, what a glove save. Looking to Galchenya. Solid work defensively by Zetterberg. He's along. Oh, tremendous stop by Price. Well, you know he's happy, guys. He's sitting there on the bench. He's got a couple of goals in his back pocket already. But you know he's thinking about number three. What an achievement that would be to bang in one more. San Jose's got that face-off win. Shot deflected. Terrific determination. Got it all. Oh, if you're a shooter, you don't want to see the goaltender flash his glove like that. Outstanding play. Pitching this one to Parento. Puck is thrown to Rask. Goes back deep for him. Snapping a pass to that suit. Enormous collision. Well, guys, he didn't see him coming until the last minute. That's a pretty solid contact. Nice tip of the pass. He knifed it away. The Sharks have it in center ice. Gets in. What will he do? In the slot. Wonderful save. He was hovering right over him. You want to score goals, you have to go to this area. Score! Another step in the road back. They're down by two. drops to the butterfly it's almost Edzo like he believes he's got the whole net covered because he doesn't move San Jose's deficit is now just two third period still time to go let's go guys Sharks control from the neutral zone by number 25. moves it to the corner flex that leg right out there and blocked it the Rebels wheel one ahead up the wing. Breakaway! They score! He had that look of no doubt he was going to score on that breakaway. Red Deer's goal has taken them to an even larger lead on a night that they have had the offense going. Third period of play. The stick can break up a play, and it just did. A little pass from his goalie here. The Sharks up the wing are moving the puck. The puck is fielded now by Jason Spezza. Takes it right back. To Wingles. Trying to go to Chimera. Speared along by Orpe. And possession has changed. Brilliant move on that pass. The world has sort of come through this city in recent games. A long home stand affords you the opportunity to see a lot of teams from around the league. And we are doing that right here. Just under eight minutes to go in the third period. Do you see a pattern developing here? They're up now by three. Takes that pass behind the net. Looks ahead. Directing that one to Yonker. The Rebels wheel it up the wing. 
Nice work by Hamilton. Moves it to the shadow of the boards. Good job with the neutralize intercept. Gets across, looks over his options. Look at this chance! And a good job in the goal crease. Gathered in by Gardner. Referee's got a penalty on his mind here. Delayed call. Anderson's at the bench. Delayed penalty continues. And so now a penalty will be handed out. Red Deer's minor is for charging. All this player has to do, Doc, is not skate through the hit. Glide a little bit before you make contact with the attacking player. The Sharks' power play gets another chance to operate. Hasn't been effective yet. The Sharks prevailing on the faceoff. Point blank save. You don't get many better opportunities than that. Great save. Great opportunity, but the pass didn't connect. And the puck taken over by Enstrom. Smart recovery by Doan. Moving it to MacArthur. Nice poke check by Chara. Chip, solid glove save. And here again is Ray. Anderson's had a rotten night. Sometimes you look at the clock and it never moves. He can't wait to get out of there. He's going to want to burn this portion of the game tape here. Ray, thanks. This is just not one of those nights for him. Maybe next time. A little over three minutes still to play in this period. Do you see a pattern developing here? They're up now by three. The Rebels in their own end lug that puck along. Taken away. Into the attacking end. Shot. Oh, great save there. Not much room to work, but he got a good shot away. A quick developing play right in front. Almost looks like he's too close to the goaltender. Let's it go. Great stick save. And now it's directed to Henrik Sedin. Outstanding work with the glove. That's one way to stop the momentum. Cover the puck and get a whistle. This thing changes direction. It's an excellent stop for the goaltender. San Jose's quick on the draw. Shoots, grabbed. What a glove save. He showed him the glove and he took it away. To Hamilton. Breakaway, terrific defense. Pointed to Ovechkin. Oh, great cut. And the loose puck regathered by Doan. Possession gained by Datsuk. The Rebels are back even. He's got it. Pass attempt to Gardner. Pitching it to Datsuk. We are in the last minute. Score! Datsuk! Goaltender had no chance stopping that puck with a quick release. Don'ts displayed some sweet hands. That's a soft dish right on the tape. The Rebels got that faceoff win. Now what? And so icing is whistled, and back it will come to the other end for yet one more faceoff in this contest. Time of the goal, 19 minutes, 5 seconds. The Rebels with a face-off win. Let's it go. From the outside. Cut his glove on it. Passing one off now to Hoodler. Taken out along the boards. Well, that's got to hurt. That is a solid hit. Shoots. Can't get it on net. That's going to happen. There's not a lot of room there. He just missed the shot. And it is icing. And the linesmen earn their pay as well. Good job on the draw. Pin to the glass. Looking to Chara. Pitching this one to Hoodler. 
gathered up by Rick Nash. San Jose is lugging it along in their own end, shifting gears. Puck is thrown to Rask. Fires, and the save there. Red Deer's only going to get two minutes on this call, but it was tripping. This is an easy call for the official, Doc. The player made no attempt to play the puck and just tripped up the attacking player. winning streak but tonight it came to a crashing end as they were blown out for a team that's seen so much success of late you have to wonder what happened here tonight that's it for another great night at a hockey ring for Eddie and Ray Doc saying good evening everyone 